Well, uh, I don't know. I haven't seen him a lot. Uh, we don't face him a ton, but that was pretty impressive what he could do. Um, throwing a ton of fastballs. He landed his breaking ball a little bit better than than we've seen um, in the past, but he's tough, you know, and he showed it tonight by uh, by being in attack mode, being in the strike zone early and got us pretty defensive from the get-go. Uh, right behind on the right side here. AJ, when you have a guy like Justin Turner who's had the postseason history that he's had, does that impact the way that you approach him in any way? Uh, well, sure. I mean, you want to be careful with him. You know, I think the the walk before that's going to be the, you know, big at bat as well. And, and you know, with Turner, um, you feel like you can get into the at bat a little bit, and, and he just never concedes. You know, we know he's going to be a tough out. Uh, the guy in front of him is a pretty tough out. And, you know, you just got to make pitches. And, and you know, when the ball of the bat, I didn't think it was gone. You know, the ball carried a little bit. Um, but there's no doubt he's, you know, he's pretty locked in, and, and especially in big moments. To your right, AJ. Joel? Hey, Joel. Hey, AJ. AJ, you uh, probably saw some of Taylor in the AL West. Uh, is this look like a completely different player from the one <coughs> well, you saw in Seattle? Yeah, well, he's matured a ton, and I think his, you know, his bat speed's always been really good, and that's some of the fastest bat speed you're going to see in the big leagues. You know, I don't know how it measures out, but um, by the eye, it's pretty impressive, and, and he jump-started him tonight on the first pitch. Uh, obviously, just got a first pitch fastball to hit, and then um, again another guy who who never concedes the at bat. He's always takes a really good pass at the ball, um, and he's proved to be even more dangerous than obviously he was as a young player. But watching him mature is is pretty obvious. I'll stay right there, Andrew. AJ, I know yep. it's Kershaw tonight, but why do you think you guys, you know, in the ALCS and now tonight on the road, you haven't hit as well? Well, I don't think it has anything to do with the ALCS. That's a completely different pitching staff. I mean, tonight's about Kershaw and 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 really the span of a couple at bats. You know, where they had two big swings, we had one. They had a walk right before one of their big swings. It's three one. We get to game two. I mean, there's, it's no more complicated than that. So, um, but he, it's a tough. You know, it's a tough league when you got to run up against Kershaw. But it's going to be a tough league tomorrow when you got to run into Verlander. So there's, you know, Keiko was really good tonight. He was just a pitch or two less than Kershaw. He wasn't maybe as fancy with the punch outs, but. Uh, take nothing away from these guys. This is a well-pitched game on both sides. Uh, left side in the middle, Allison. Um, you obviously want to split uh, when you leave here. How important is it that Verlander keep doing what he's been doing? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously, every game, you know, I kind of anticipated the whole must-win question, which is, you, know, you didn't say it, but I did. But um, every game is, is sort of must-win. Obviously, you want to get out of this game. Now, I wanted to get out of here with a sweep, and, and now that's not going to happen. So um, we come back tomorrow. We get 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 prepared to to face Hill, Verlander's, you know, one of our one of our best, if not our best, the last uh, couple months as he's been an Astro. So um, we'll we'll certainly ride him out. To your left, AJ Brian. A AJ, you mentioned yep. the two big swings, th those two homers. That's their three runs. It's just a reminder of in the World Series, it's it's the slimmest of margins, especially when it's Keuchel and uh, and Kershaw doing. Yeah. Well, especially it's Dodgers Astros too. These are two pretty damn good teams. You know, both hundred win teams. Both have some firepower. Bregman put a good swing on on the on the on the ball. We had some other pretty good swings, but you, you know, you don't give it much. In, you don't give in. You don't, you also don't get much. And I, and I think you know, playoff baseball, World Series baseball. Um, would you expect anything less than a than a margin about the size of a of one swing? Uh, a little bit further back on the left, Dave. AJ, you guys were a team that you know didn't strike out that much. Obviously, like you said, a lot of the credit goes to Kershaw. He's a great pitcher. Sure. Do you think you guys, as a younger team, being in this atmosphere, tend to get a little more anxious? And, uh, I don't know that. I don't know that we're that young. I mean, I don't know where we rank in the youth category across the league, but. Our guys are pretty battle tested. This is this is our second time through the playoffs as a group. We've got Brian McCann, Josh Reddick, been through the been through this. Carlos Beltran, um, you know, youth is not an issue. We, we're we're a game you know, heading into game two of the World Series. So if you know, there's no more rookies. There's no more yet youth. There's it's just competing, and you know, their guy beat beat us. And and I think you know, for us, obviously, we need to stay in the strike zone a little bit more. It's a better. It's easier said at this podium, or easier said when sitting in the dugout than it is in the batter's box. Uh, but hopefully, we can do that tomorrow. Take a couple last ones in the second row here. Uh, AJ, uh, considering what, what Verlander did in the ALCS, how how much confidence does he give your team? And, and what are you expecting mm -hmm. tomorrow from him? Well, we think we can win every single game he pitches. And I don't know that there's, there's a better compliment for a starting pitcher than when we wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to get breakfast, and we're going to get over here pretty early. And we have a very good chance to win because Justin Verlander's on the mound. What do I expect from him? I mean, I, I'm not going to put limitations on him. Uh, I've run them up to 130 pitches, so 125 pitches. So, um, National League rules may, may be a little bit different, but I expect his best, and that, that's what he's delivered since the day he became an Astro. And to your left, last question here. A AJ, George yep. has been one of your guys' best players all season. Yep. Um, 
you know, but the 0 for 4, the strikeouts, he's obviously going against Kershaw, but do you consider it all moving him down? To no, try he'll be leading off. He had a tough night at work, and, and, and a lot of our guys did. But, and I know George has struggled, but uh, if he hits a first pitch tomorrow into the gap or hits a, hit a single or hits a ball out of the ballpark, it's, you'll, you'll be amazed at how, how good he feels.